What is the oldest memory you can remember, and how old were you? I was 3, and was getting adopted. I remember going to court, and the judge letting me bang the gavel. I even got to pick my own middle name, didn't have one, and everyone was super happy for me and excited. I had a party after, and remember having Aureus, my favorite now, and going home with my new parents. I don't remember anything from before them. I was 4 years old, we were crossing the road near Piccadilly Circus, my mother said don't walk, I heard walk and walked, right in front of a van. I remember warmth and wet. They didn't think I would make it till the ambulance got to me, and carried me to a nearby garage, and laid me on a radiator. I remember the heat of the radiator nearly 50 years later, the wet was the blood streaming down my face. The next time I woke, was 4 weeks later in the hospital. I also remember the man who drove the van called to the hospital every night, until I was released, and the toy he brought me every single night. I remember seeing my older brother, by year, picking up big rocks, and putting them in the wagon. I wanted to help, but he told me I couldn't, because I was too little. So I was, like I can do anything you can, and started hoisting rocks the size of my head into the wagon to prove him wrong. I didn't realize how young I was then, until I saw a photo my mom took of us filling up the wagon. Turns out I was a toddler in diapers. I don't know how old I was, but we were living in a house that we moved away from when I was two. I was looking down into a bowl of Cheerios and milk that my grandpa was feeding me for breakfast, and he was having trouble scooping up the last couple of Cheerios because of the arthritis in his hand. He said they were swimming away from him in the milk. My earliest memory isn't anything special however my nan's earliest memory is a keeper. She was about 3, in London with her parents around 1941. Her parents, her and her siblings were walking somewhere central, when all of a sudden German planes hit. They were flying really low. The moment she remembers vividly is her mum, putting my nan in the curb, and laying on top of her to protect her. All my memories are scattered, so I can never place a specific time on them. It's like that one MF law that has a plot going all over the place and the timeline is fucked. But if I had to dub a specific memory as the earliest, it had had to be me at like 8 to 9 looking at myself in a glossy bar while doing half-assed ballet poses cause I think it just got my first two to war however the fuck it's spelled. Either that or I was 7 and wanted to start ballet, which I would at about 8 to 9. I don't remember exactly. I remember standing on my tippy toes and seeing a handprint on top of an ice cake on a table. I told my parents about that memory when I was an adult and they were stunned I remembered my third birthday. The handprint was from my great grandfather putting his hand on the table for balance while talking to someone. He missed the table and put his hand right on the cake. I would have had to have been four. My parents and I were watching Wizard of Oz on TV and I ran to the bathroom during a commercial break and was rushing because I didn't want to miss anything and I was terrified of those flying monkeys. The height of our toilet was waist height and the seat and lid fell down and smashed my wiener and balls. I fell on the ground, crying and peeing everywhere. I think I was about 2 years old but I can remember it was the first time I was being bathed in the adult tub. I took a crap in the tub when my mom turned away for a second and then when she turned back I can distinctly remember her laughing while crying at the same time. My next distinct memory is not till I was 4 yo. Everything between the two is a blur and honestly the stuff between 4 and 7 is a blur too. I was 4 and I was under the dining room table playing with a toy hammer, actual hammer but small. The kid next from next door was over, and he wanted my hammer, and was trying to take it away from me. Then he bit my arm, and wouldn't let go, he was latched onto my arm. I bashed him on the head with the hammer. When I was younger, I kept having this recurring dream about watching my mother on a spinning ride, sitting in a canopied boat, and watching a jungle go by, a few other random sights. One day while my dad and I were hanging in his workshop, I think I was about 22 by this point, I told him about it. He relayed that I was describing Disneyland, the teacup ride, and the jungle cruise. Except, I was only about 1 to 1.5 years old when they took me. The point of view I read. I was under 2 and wearing my dad's boots that went up to my crotch, just shuffling around. 
there's a picture of it, so idk if it's a real memory or a made up memory, but it feels real. Cuddling my pregnant mom, her belly was enormous to me. I would have been 3.5. My daughter has been 3 to 4 this covid year, 4 in January. I'm very curious about what she'll remember. I've tried to make everything as happy and normal as possible, but play dates ended, classes ended. She sobbed herself to sleep when dance class was cancelled. I hope she remembers camping, or the lake or one of the 20,000 dance parties we had in the living room. It's weird that I can't remember exactly what the oldest memory I have is. I don't know how old I was when I was sitting in my dad's lap watching the news on TV and Walter Cronkite was reporting on the war in Vietnam and I asked my dad if we were going to win the war. I remember his reply as being no, I don't think so. I don't know how old I was, but I was less than 7 because we were living in another house when I turned 7, probably 5 or so. I was about 3 years old standing in my childhood garden and I had just let go of my Teletubbies helium balloon that my mum had bought for me in the high street earlier that day. I can still perfectly remember that image of it floating away into the clouds and me just staring at it as it got smaller and smaller. Till next time, Tinky Winky. I didn't realize how old I was until I asked my parents about this memory, but it was before I turned one I vividly remember being held and a bunch of my family members and others being in a field and letting go of balloons. I remember all the colors and how amazed I was. Apparently it was a 6 year old girl's funeral who died of cancer, I believe. She was my cousin, not by blood, but my uncle raised her and loved her all the same. I remember reading through books in my kindergarten class while others were still learning to read and write their ABCs. I must have been 4 or 5 years. Some of us are just born bookworms. Of course I mean kids books 70% picks 30% words. My teacher was very comprehensive in getting me more books to keep me busy. Wow, it's amazing that I thought I was the only one that could remember things before my 5th birthday. I remember too much to relate. At about 4 years old, I'm sitting next to my grandfather, my dad sitting across from us, in an old farmhouse heated by coal. I remember the smell. I'm playing with my grandfather's hand. It was calloused bad. For some reason the calluses amazed me. Then, I turned his hand over and saw the veins on top of his hand. Touched them and said does that hurt? He said no. I was 4. It was my birthday. My sister wanted to have my birthday so my mum let her have it. My friends literally ignored me and celebrated my birthday like it was my sister's. I was pissed and I ran around in the soft play until I collapsed of exhaustion. Oddly the next day I saw on my mum's facet book that a girl kissed me on the forehead when I was asleep. Neighbor's daughter think she was called Jennifer and she had freckles, a bowl cut and dark brown hair. The soft play was called the Rocket Rascals. This was in Western Scotland, while my mum was on a business trip and decided to bring us all along to waste business funds. To date, my most vivid memory. I'm not sure how old I was, between 4 and 6. My family had just bought a little kitten and I helped pick his name. I named him Oliver after the moving Oliver and company. I loved that little boy with all my heart. He died recently of old age. When I visited him for the last time at my parents, how's he put himself in pain to jump up onto my lap for snuggles and pats, something he hadn't done for anyone else in months. I'm sitting on some ice. I'm wearing knitted red mittens. They are the kind that has a string between them, so they don't get lost. I'm sitting on the ice. In the memory I see my mitten wearing hands patting on the ice. I asked my mother about it, and she estimated I must have been somewhere between 12 to 18 months old at the time I had those mittens. It's not my oldest memory, as I have a few random memories here and there, but this is my first conscious memory that started my conscious reel. I was 4. I woke up, leaned over my bed, and vomited chili all over my sister's new sleeping bag. My mom came in, looked at me, and sighed. She was so tired. My first actual memory, I think, was of me when I was about 2 or 3 walking down the street in my neighborhood stopping at every house and flipping them off. My dad found me after about 5 houses. He was trying not to laugh while he scolded me. 
I was 3 I think, and I shit my pants, right before I made it to the bathroom. I remember I was very disappointed in myself, so I decided to hide in my dad's closet. Eventually my parents came inside looking for me, and called my name, but I didn't answer cause I drick, why I guess I was ashamed at myself. Some time passes, and they still, can't find me, so they call the police. I remember looking out the window, and seeing all my neighbors, and the police outside talking, and was like shit I really fucked up definitely don't want to come out now. A lot more time passes by and my mom eventually finds me. She says she just had a mom instinct to go upstairs and double check the closet I was in, and when she went and she could smell the stench at this point, and knew I was in there. I guess it was just a big moment in my young life, because I can still visualize certain moments that happened in my mind perfectly, or at least it feels that way. It's kind of interesting, I have a picture of my first memory. I remember looking down at these alphabet shaped magnets on the floor of my grandparents kitchen. My cousin, who is about a year older than me, was there too, playing with the magnets. It's a very dreamy sort of memory, but I've always been able to recall it. There's a picture on my mom's fridge of this moment, of me looking down at the magnets, I think being held by my aunt. I don't know exactly how old I was, but definitely less than 2 years old. It's a strange feeling looking at the picture, and being able to recall that moment, and realizing that little person is me. I must have been about 3 years old, and I was running around the house thinking that I had super speed or something, asking my parents to time me, and their reactions would be like wow, you did that in 1.5 seconds, you're so fast. I don't think that there was a flash show on TV at the time and I definitely didn't have any Sega stuff or knowledge of Sonic the Hedgehog, yet so I can only assume that I was inspired by Speedy Gonzalez. I remember extremely far back from before being able to talk. I remember standing in the dining room and trying to tell my mom that I had shapped my diaper and I remember being extremely frustrated that she didn't understand what I was saying. I was trying to say my poop is prickly but prickly was a bit above my skill level to pronounce. I was about 2-3 two, two, years of age being pushed in a plastic baby swing seat I can specifically remember the lion water feature hanging on the wall behind me getting closer and closer to it almost but not quite touching it. And another early memory must have been the around the same age as I was small enough for my sister to be carrying me on her hip. We walked up the stairs in our house and I can still hear the words of my sister asking if they were ready to leave. Let's rock and roll lot but these are my two earliest memories. I was 3. I was showing my preschool friends the giant itchy mosquito bite I had on my stomach I remember being proud of it because it was so large. The teacher came back into the room and looked very alarmed and I got super scared that I had done something very wrong. Turns out I had chicken pox and she just didn't want me to infect the whole class. I may be 2 or 3 years old, riding on my dad's shoulders as he walked through a crowd. I had my heels hooked under his armpits and my but was kind of sagging down near his shoulder blades, so I wrapped my arms around his head, grabbed his nose for leverage and hoiked myself back up a bit. I was almost 4. I remember parts of the day my youngest cousin was born. My other two cousins, whose mom was having the baby, came over and we played all day. My dad gave us crackers and grape juice then brought all four of us to the hospital to meet the baby. One of my cousins said her stomach hurt because she had too much grape juice. Then he brought us all back to my house, my mom made spaghetti, and we had a sleepover in the basement. Good day for a kid. I was too. I remember vividly being in the car with my parents on holidays in Spain. We arrived in Zaragoza at like 10pm and I remember everything, from the lights outside the car, to the smell of the hotel room, and the laugh of my parents and their friends. I also remember being super tired from the long drive and a feeling of true happiness to be surrounded by people I loved. Then I can remember the whole vacation, and it was a blast for a 2 year old haha. <laughs> Don't know my specific age, but I was less than 5. I woke up in the middle of the night from a nightmare. I remember wanting my parents. I remember leaving my bed and trying to find the door to my room. It was pitch black and I was stumbling over toys in my room. I found a wall with tubs on and tried to search for the door. 
I think I found it, but in hindsight I could've just been at the closet. I tried to find the door handle, but I couldn't find it. I started crying out to my mom and dad. But they didn't come. I think I must have cried myself to sleep, because I don't remember anything besides me curled up against the door. I know this happened, because I vividly remember stubbing my toe on a metal toy truck, while searching for the door. I also know that after this happened I couldn't fall asleep without a bright night light, until I was 15. Note, my parents have no memory of this. And it was common for me to cry a lot as a child, so I don't blame them at all. Sitting on my lawn and my dog ran up and started licking my face. She died before I was 2, so I must have been younger than that. Should be noted that this is one of only two memories I have before turning 5 years old, and there is a slight possibility it was a dream, although my parents have corroborated it happening. I remember when I was 3 years old I was in the waiting room of the doctor's office while my mom was being seen by her ob slash chin when she was pregnant with my little sister. Being 3, I wanted to be with my mom, so I barged into the room where my mom was with the doctor and saw her up in the stirrups with the doc examining her. Needless to say, I was scarred for life. My brother being born throwing a temper tantrum in my friend's gravel driveway because I wanted a sister after my dad told me I had a new brother. Then the next day, being with my grandma and going to the florist and picking out a violet plant for my mom, directing my grandma how to drive to the hospital in our town, I was 3.5, so I could meet my new brother. I have two, not sure which was earlier. Both would have been about a year. One, I was getting a bath in the kitchen sink at the cottage. I touched the faucet and it was hot. I remember being careful after that. The other, I woke up from my afternoon nap in my crib. The maid came in and took the brush off my sister's dresser and brought it over to brush my hair. She had done that before and it had hurt. I didn't have the words to tell her that so all I could do was cry. I might have been saying no no no, but she didn't understand. And it hurt. My first memory is taking a shit on the beach and watching the waves take it away. I was probably 4 years old and kind of remember my dad's reaction when I told him I had to shit. He was like ah oh, Jesus okay, just go right here, no one is looking, and then wash yourself in the water when you're done. I'm 3 years old, at the community pool with family, standing at the edge of the pool. I don't know what I'm doing and proceed to walk off the edge of the pool into the water. I proceed to feel real confused as I breath in some water, my aunt pulls me up out the water and has a panicked expression on her face. I don't know if the whole breath in vin water thing actually affected me, but that was wild. Okay hear me out here. This is very immoral I did when I was young and still have something to learn because. Oh, I hope there's no shouting that's very disgraceful at her age, but. My old used to be friend which lives beside me play together we saw our smoker grandpa left an ignited cigar my friend said look there's an ignited cigar, wanna try it? As a child who doesn't know what's a cigar is I said sure we tried it, he smoked the cigar and exhaled it like a dragon, and I was wow how you do, that at oh at, and he said wanna try it? And I said no thanks I've managed to avoid trying it, because of my low confidence, that I can do it. Thanks low confidence feelings you saved a life. Also he knows how to smoke that cigar stuff I'm impressed. That young knows a D, which is bad. And he started to drift away our friendship and I moved to another friend and forgotten about him. P crap didn't added my age D. My age was 3 back then. I think this happened when I was 2 or 3. But I remember being at a beach and seeing a little turtle. I thought this was exciting. So I picked the turtle up and held the little guy in my hand and showed him to my dad, whose eyes widened. He told me to immediately put the turtle down because it was a snapping turtle haha. <laughs> Don't know how I managed not to get bit. I hope that little guy got to live a long life. I have to preface this with the fact that I hate my aunt and apparently always have. I was 3, we had just moved to a new house and I remember my aunt telling me what room I was going to sleep in, while my mom and dad were down the hall. My first memory was the internal thought who are you to tell me where to sleep? You aren't my mom. If my 3 year old brain had known what cursing was, the thought would have been who the fuck do you think you are? 
I'm not going to listen to some cunt telling me what to do. You aren't my fucking mom. My absolute hatred of this lady and being told what to do shocked my system into consciousness. I remember my second birthday party. All I can remember is looking down at my cake, which was a big cookie monster head with a cookie in the mouth, and everyone singing happy birthday. The next earliest was when we went to Florida to see my grandparents and go to Disney World a few months later. I remember almost all of that trip, but the major memories are of me throwing up on my dad in a parking lot of a nice restaurant, wearing a snow white costume, and going up on a stage to dance at some dinner show, and then getting caught in a tornado on the way home, and having to stay at a random motel. My first memory that I can recall as being the first is not specific, but generally recalling a normal day in my toddlerhood home. Wake up, eat breakfast, cry because my mom would leave for work, ask my dad countless times where mom was, I knew so I don't really know why I did this, then me and dad would get on the bus and go to a museum for the day. The memory I know came first, though in a way I remember it before the above memory, but also not. This is staying at a hotel while moving houses. This hotel had an elevator going down to the car park that was really scary. It was all black inside except for one yellowish light, and it made a scary noise that sounded like a low revving diesel engine. Not sure if that's my mind exaggerating, or if it was real, but it's quite vivid. I have a vivid memory of walking out of my mom's bed. I was probably 2 or 3, and my dad was having a party with his friends. I'm Vietnamese so, if you're Viet you know how Asian men party. They set up a bunch of food, sit in a circle, and get trashed, while usually singing karaoke. Well, this was the 90s, and I remember them watching a porno on the TV whilst getting trashed lol it was so surreal at the moment. I also remember getting beers from the fridge for me dad. I must have been 3. My grandpa went to prison at about that time and I remember going to see him at his work. I remember it so well, because after we visited him, he walked down the hall with his cowhawkers, and it looked like he walked through a wall. Looking back I realize he was getting far away, and the sliding metal doors closed behind him. Checks out because I had poor vision as a child, and wasn't diagnosed until I was about 5. I asked my mom and dad several times if they saw Papo walk through the wall like he could teleport and they thought I was crazy. When I was about 19 I learned that he was in prison in this time and I put the two and two together tan walls, tan doors, jumpsuit. It was the late 1960s. I was 3. I was woken up at our cottage by the blood curdling screams of my grandfather while he was asleep. He was a gunner in WW1 and was shot twice and took shrapnel once in the three years he was over there. He suffered from PTSD his entire life and would wake up screaming a few times a week most weeks. If I close my eyes, I can still hear it. It's the scream someone makes when someone is actively trying to kill them.